G'day, I'm Adam from Visa and Citizenship Lawyers. I've put together this video to give you some information if you've had your Australian visa application refused, or if you're a business, if you've had your nomination application refused. If you've just received notification that your visa or nomination application has been refused, it is important that you obtain legal advice as soon as possible. The urgency arises because the longer that you leave it, the less options you will have. Your first option may be to accept the refusal, but if you're watching this video, you're likely after a different option. Your second option may be to relodge a stronger visa or nomination application. However, this option is only available in certain circumstances. And another option which is only available in certain circumstances is to have your matter heard in the court. Another option may be to have your matter heard in the tribunal. The tribunal has strict time limitations and if you do not lodge a review application with the tribunal in time, it will be what's known as an invalid application. And if it's an invalid application, you will have no review rights at the tribunal at all. One of the benefits of having your matter reviewed at the tribunal is that the tribunal is not a part of the Department of Home Affairs who refused your visa or nomination application in the first instance. Also, the tribunal hearing is what's known as a merits review, and a merits review is basically a second chance. At a merits review or tribunal review, all the information that you have submitted that was included in the original application will be considered again. And also, any additional evidence that we are able to compile for you will be considered up to and including the date of the tribunal review hearing. If you'd like us to assess your situation and your options, feel free to contact us at Visa and Citizenship Lawyers.